Hello everyone, and in this tutorial I am going to be teaching you how to make a navigation bar. And this navigation bar is going to be made of HTML and CSS only. So if you put this in a website, this will load very quickly because there are no images or JavaScript used. And the navigation bar will be horizontal and have an effect when you put your mouse over the different links. So when you roll over one of the links, it changes the background color and the text color. So, to make the navigation bar I just showed you, I'm going to be using a free program which you can get at this address, which I will include in the description box. And it is called Microsoft Expression Web. And you can just click this button and download Expression Web 4 Service Pack 2, which is now the free version. It used to be a paid for application, but Microsoft have now made it free. And on opening it, you should have a application that looks like this. And this program looks is very similar to Dreamweaver. And I have set up a document for this tutorial and it is a HTML document and in the head tag uh, I have a title of home and in the body I have an owner's list with three list items and an anchor tag each with the class of navbar and the hyperlink reference of a hashtag which keeps on the same page when you click the link and there's three of them and it's link one, link two and link three. So now to make our navigation bar we're going to use CSS and I'm going to put this in the head tag. So enter and type in style and style type equals text slash CSS and it puts in the closing style tag for me. And the first thing we're going to do is style our unordered list. So first type in UL for unordered list and an opening curly bracket and it's list style type colon none semicolon and if you press F5 you can see that these bullet points will now disappear because it removes them and I'm going to type in margin 0 F5 and now the margin is gone and this padding 0 will be useful later on oh, and don't forget to put the semicolon here and press F5 and that's gone now and the program puts in the closing curly brackets for you now I'm going to press enter and I'm going to type in li for list item which are these over here and I'm just going to do float colon left and now if I press F5, they all float to the left. And that's all for the list item. Now, let's say you have other links or anchor tags over here. Let's say you don't want them to be styled in the same way as the navigation bar. So I have put in a class of navbar for all three of them. And this will tell CSS to only uh, style these anchor tags in this way and the other ones to leave them as they are. And to do this, you type in A because that is the anchor tag and this is the element we want to target dot to get the class of navbar and then an opening curly bracket and you type in the CSS as normal so now I'm going to do display uh, is block so that these links take up this entire line and any content here will not wrap up here because that's what the float left would do and the width is going to be fit and I'm going to make the font weight bold and the font family Calibri um, the font size I will do 20 pixels color which changes the color of the text I will do black and the background color I will do as red um, and I will align the text to the center And I'm going to use some padding, 4 pixels, 7 pixels. Now what this means is, the top and the bottom padding, so here and here, are 4 pixels. And the left and right, here and here, are 7 pixels padding. This is just shorthand for writing 4 pixels, 7 pixels, 4 pixels, 7 pixels. So it's just a quicker way of writing that. And I'm going to do text transform uppercase to make all the writing in capitals and text decoration none to remove the underlining from the hyperlinks and that's it so now I'm going to save that and press F12 to preview it in Google Chrome so now you can see that it has made the text black, it's changed the font, the font size, it's made it it's made it in the center and the padding has just given it a little bump there but you can see that when I put my mouse over it nothing happens and this is because we still haven't done the hover styling for this so I'm gonna go back to my 
expression web and I'm gonna have a new line and type in a dot navbar so I can get the same element here the same element and class and then a colon and hover so this CSS will only be done when this element is hovered and all it is is color and I'm going to change the text color to white when the mouse is put on the element and the background color to blue and if I save that and hit F12 this is our navigation bar so you can see when I hover my mouse over it the text changes from black to white and the background color changes from red to blue so this concludes the CSS navigation bar tutorial I hope you have enjoyed it please comment like and subscribe and if you can and if you or if you want you can leave a comment in the in the section below suggesting tutorials that I can do thank you for watching